Today's lesson is taking action against cyberbullying. First, let's learn some vocabulary words. Cyberbullying is using digital devices, sites, and apps to intentionally and repeatedly intimidate, harm, and upset someone. A target is someone who is being bullied. An upstander is a person who stands up against cyberbullying. Let's watch a video. It's fun to connect with friends online while playing games, texting, using social media, and more. But screens sometimes make it easy for people to say or do things they wouldn't say or do in real life, including things that are mean and cruel. When cruelty is online, intentional, repeated, and harmful, it's called cyberbullying. And to be the target of cyberbullying can be devastating. But the good news is, when bullying happens online, lots of people see it. If you happen to be one of those people, you can help put an end to it by being an upstander or someone who stands up to cruelty. There are three easy ways to be an upstander. Number one, you can ask the bully to stop. This takes courage. And it's also important to remember that behind every cruel deed is a real person who may be in need of empathy too. Number two, you could give comfort to the target. A kind word might be just the thing they need to turn their world around. Number three, you can and should take a screenshot of any cyberbullying you see and show it to a trusted adult. This is how we can put a stop to cyberbullying. Now wouldn't that be upstanding? Now let's watch YouTuber Clearly Chloe's story about being bullied. Just to give you an idea of what someone goes through when they're cyber bullied. I posted a picture on my Instagram of me underwater and I thought this was such a cool picture because I had just gotten my new GoPro and I thought it was so cool that I was able to take a picture underwater. All of a sudden, like a million texts started coming through on my phone from a group chat that I was part of. The first text in the chat was a screenshot of the picture that I had just posted on my Instagram. I was kind of confused, so I read the text below it, and it said really mean things about my body and how I looked, and then I scrolled a few comments down, and there was more stuff chiming in about my bathing suit and my necklace and all this crazy stuff and I was shocked. These were people I'd gone to school with my whole life and I've always considered them my friends and I realized they must have not known that I was in this group chat because they probably wouldn't have said any of this to my face. And I went over to the mirror and I just began to feel really worthless and I just examined myself and started feeling like everything they had been saying about me was true. And then I just started to cry. I just cried, let all my feelings out. My phone began to blow up faster and faster than before until I actually thought it was about to literally blow up and like fire would spread everywhere. People were still talking about me and I just got so mad at that point. And I needed to say my part in this. I wanted to stand up for myself now. So I picked up my phone and I texted in the group chat. Sorry to interrupt, but I am here and I've been reading your texts this whole time. What you guys are doing is really wrong, and I love the picture that I took. There was silence. The texting had stopped, and I didn't let their mean words change the way I felt about myself. I made the very picture they made fun of my new profile picture. Okay, now let's think and review about what we saw and heard in the videos. Cyberbullying must be online, intentional, 
repeated and harmful. To stand up to a cyber to cyberbullying, ask the bully to stop, give comfort to the target, or take a screenshot of anything you see and show it to a trusted adult. Always remember to be kind with what you say and post online and to be an upstander against cyberbullying.